Vatican Radio airs in more than 35 languages, including Ukrainian. Recently, the work of this particular group has taken on a critical role. We try our hardest to convey the concern from the Holy See, from the Pope, about everything that is happening in Ukraine. A team of four full-time employees plus several volunteers and contributors constantly update their webpage and help prepare a 20-minute daily broadcast available around the world. Because of sensibility and also the politically charged atmosphere, Father Teodosio Roman said finding reliable information on what's happening in the country can be challenging. A very important role for Vatican Radio and for Ukrainian media in Western Europe is to broadcast legitimate information. Because normally in many media outlets we have so much news, so many journalists who write and speak about the situation in Ukraine, but unfortunately it's not always the truth. Vatican Radio, he explained, stepped in to fill that gap. And more so, they're also a point of reference for worship. In specific areas like Crimea or eastern Ukraine, he said, it's not easy for Roman and Ukrainian Greek Catholics to worship freely. In fact, several priests were forced to abandon their parishes after armed groups overtook Crimea and several towns in the east of the country. Each Sunday, for all the major feasts, we broadcast the liturgy in Ukrainian. Those who are unable to participate in their church can always listen to the Mass live or through the Internet. Pope Francis and the head of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church have denounced the violence and called for peace. Major Archbishop Chevchuk has gone a step further and denounced attempts to break up Ukraine. And as the tension continues, the Catholic Church has stated it will steer clear of politics and look out for the well-being of everyday people.